Okay, this is Mofosi That, and today we are taking a look at what's inside the box. Now, I got this from Anime King. That's where I found it for cheapest. Now I went. So, this is the NHS Figurettes exclusive. It's the Uju KG Gavan Type G. So, it's the. Um, version that we saw in the movie when uh, Geki becomes the successor to the Space Chef Gavin name. So we're going to take a look, open up the box. You can see right here, it just says Gavin Type G down here with a nice uh, eagle eye view of the figure. Open it up. There you go. Kiki doing the pose with the fink, his um, hands and alternate head and swords down here. You see, I already opened this already, so you can see the instruction manual. And you can see here it shows off the poses he can do, and the sword and alternate head. So let's open this on this side. I already opened the tape. Showing the instruction manual, it's like most SH figure art stuff, very right? simple piece of paper. It shows you that you can change the hands, the head, and it shows you the sword components to it. Now, you take a look at the clamshell. See that everything's like very, very shiny. So, the alternate head is when his head eyes light up. You have the um, loose hands, as I call them, the hands he uses for the sword, and uh, posing hands. Here you have the regular sword, and you have the sword charged up, ready to strike for his final attack, and you have Gavan Type G himself. Now he first appeared. In the Space Gavin movie around 2000 something, he became the successor. Now, the most noticeable difference between him and the regular Gavin is that he has these blue details. Where on Gavin, the original one is more multicolored. So, this is a really nice figure. It's all plastic, it's very lightweight. The feet are plastic and not die cast. So they, there's a lot of movement on this leg like regular. So the neck can go down and up. And the head, as you know, since it's removed, can go 360. Um, elbows, shoulders can go up and down, up and back due to the rotating joint in here. So it's 360 for the elbow, the bicep swivel, the elbow is double jointed. You do like this or this, but the top joint is very limited. You only go like halfway, 45 degrees angle, but the arm can go the rest of the way. And it's double jointed wrist, so you can have it go up down at all angles and it pivots goes around and for the uh, waist the double ab crunch you can see here but it also can pop up so you have more movement and it, when you ab crunch it automatically does it that's good and for Ways you can go up. Easy to do it like this because you don't hit the edges and the thighs. The hips can go down. You see the hips swivel, and when you do that, you can go all the way up and all the way back pretty well. And the knee is a regular double jointed. It's better than the um, elbow. So. That's on my phone. 
there's an ankle rocker right here and it can go all the way up you saw earlier there's a toy jo toe joint up here which is pretty good so you can get them in a variety of poses let's see if I can get because I haven't uh, played with a SH Free Arts that does not have the die cast feet I only have two so far and both of them have had uh, die cast feet the my ultimate Kuga form and the uh, DK, the second version of him, the Violent Emotion one, so I don't know if I can get him into a decent pose or not. Trying to see here. Whoop. I don't know where that came off. So be careful about the knees because they're very, they're going to be likely to pop off because this is not glued in, just hold in. There you go, but it's very easy to pop back in, hopefully. So you should watch out for that in your spaceship figures eh, it's a decent pose so moving on to the rest of the accessories down here like I said before this is the one where his eyes are lit up is very nice showing off the detail the head very nice and you can tell there's they're different because you can see the glass or the plastic in front of the eyes where on this you see it's just a solid piece of black plastic here it's very nice though you see the side-by-side -side comparison there you go and it's very very shiny so the first thing you have to worry about with shiny stuff like this is your fingerprints getting on everything because most people don't play with their toys with like gloves on so you're going to get like oils on it so this so I'm going to use this because I think this is awesome as an effect piece and this is the hand that goes on now I've played with Gavin before and it's very good they have tight grip on this but if you want to put this on Gavin you, it's gonna take a couple minutes because the wrist joint I don't know if you can't see see it here the wrist the pin the peg is very very small because it's wrist joint obviously so it's gonna take a while because as I said before, the wrist can go up and down, but without the hand on, it goes up further. So it's like per a dia perpendicular to the wrist, and that makes it hard if you're trying to shove it in there. So you got to be careful with that. So let's see how he st stacks up with the height of a regular um, SH Figuarts. Now over here is the common ready decayed violent emotion or fury phone, whichever you prefer. Down here is Space Sheriff Gavin. So roughly 
they're about the same height. I mean, you know, like this is a bit makes them a bit taller, but otherwise they're the same height. But for this, this has more human proportions, as Gavin's hands stops about a bit below the hips, where the cades goes like almost all the way down to the thigh near the leg joint the knee joint so he's much stylized like this guy you wouldn't quite believe he's a man in costume but with the Gavin figure you kinda can cause it, his is a bit more bulkier cause it's more true to the the way they made the costume in the original series and I think the Type G might be a bit more slimmer, but basically it's still the same design with only a few aesthetic changes, like I said before, with the blue eyes instead of red eyes, and the all blue technical details instead of the multicolored details. That's really good. I figure I, even if you can't get enough money to buy the Type G, I suggest you would buy the regular Gavin because he will still come with the same amount of accessories or more I believe I'm not sure because I haven't seen a Gavin figure in a while with all the accessories so I don't remember but otherwise um, this is a good pick so this is mostly that and enjoy the rest of my videos so see you guys later